Rendlesham Forest, Suffolk County, England. 200 miles east of Rudlow Manor lie six square miles of woodlands that has become notorious as the site of Great Britain's most incredible UFO encounter. On December 26, 1980, near an airbase leased to the United States Air Force by the RAF, strange lights are reported on the horizon in what appears to be a possible downed aircraft. Two U.S. servicemen are dispatched to the site. According to accounts, radios failed as they approached the targeted area, and the air itself felt electrically charged as they closed in. Strange lights were seen about three to 400 meters away from an area that was called the East Gate. And the patrolling officers at the East Gate saw the lights above the forest, and they thought potentially it was a downed aircraft or an aircraft in distress. So two of them, Sergeant Pennison and Airman John Burroughs, went further into the forest. Once at the so-called crash site, the men observed a strange triangular craft on the ground, approximately three meters wide at its base. It appeared to be either hovering or on legs. And it had clearly come down into this small clearing and smashed some of the branches off the trees. So there was, there was physical evidence which was looked at afterwards. And so the men looked at this strange object. I noticed that there was an inscription on the side of the uh, aircraft. I was expecting to find, uh, I don't know, USAF, uh, something like that. And what I find is glyphs, uh, pictorial glyphs, making no sense at all. And then I was running my hand over the side of the craft. It was very warm to touch. At this time, we were getting the feeling of electricity that was just bouncing. It was much, much stronger. There was this feeling of being drawn into it or being pulled into it. Like someone was holding a picture of, of zeros and ones in my mind's eye. The strange vision Sergeant Penniston had upon touching the craft has made this one of Britain's most famous UFO encounters. 